Previously on Squad Sprint. We're on board with Veloci Donny at end on pole for the third successive race. Can he finally get a favourable result as the five lights go out and round six is go down under. Into the slipstream goes James Toms giving him the squeeze. He's going down the inside. Great racing between the pair. Somehow they make it through the high speed chicane. James coming back for more through the slight right hander and down towards the braking zone and Ben's closing in on him he's basically pushing him through the corner and he's going to go side by side with Anava but it's going to be Veloce James winning here in Albert Park Melbourne in round six of the championship Sally is second and Photon brings it home in P3 Hi guys I'm Actual Vision and welcome to the Veloce Esports squad sprint round number seven here at the Hungaro Ring, at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Track length here, 4.381 kilometers and 14 very tight corners here, uh, which is gonna be very difficult for these guys to overtake, but with no damage and the uh, the ability levels, we're gonna see all sorts of carnage today. Hopefully it should be a brilliant race. Uh, also with the adverse weather here, it is wetter than Otter's pocket. It's raining cats and dogs here at the Hungaro Ring. It should prove to be very interesting indeed. Fun fact for you about the Hungara Ring. It was the first venue to host a Formula One race behind the Iron Curtain in 1986. Bernie Eccleston wanted to go to the USSR, but one of his friends persuaded him to go for Budapest. And here we are today in 2019. Anyway, here's the grid. FNG is on pole with John Harris, the dirt specialist in second. We've got Alexander Dornigan in third with Joe Wilkes in fourth position. On the third row then is Tom 97HD with Arava in sixth. We've then got Veloce Primero and Tom Latilo in 8th. Photon is in ninth position with Tiamat Marduk in 10th, a former race winner in this series. We've then got Sally in 11th with Veloce James in 12th, Project Cars 2 Specialist. And then we've got Formula Danny and Sonch. They don't need any introduction whatsoever on the final row. They are first and second in this championship currently. It is reverse order of the championship, guys. We're on board here with Veloce Dornigan and we're about to go green here then at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Five laps. No damage, full on wet race here. And it's a very good launch by the Veloce driver. They're all Veloce drivers, but Dornigan up into second spot then as we go up towards turn number one here. And will he be able to hang on or is he going to get some dive bombs from in behind? We're on board here with a turnover Veloce and he moves up into fourth. And now he's going to be third then because we've got a run wide by. Well, we haven't got. Yes, we've got a run wide there. So a turnover Veloce then is in fourth, but Tom has moved up into. What would be a uh, third position? Look at this, Veloce James making the move up the inside for a top four. Potential podium, and he gets it all wrong. And he just clips Tom HD there, and he moves down into seventh, eighth position. And now he's going to lose another spot here to Veloce Storm. Storm, who won round number five at Hockenheim, is now up into eighth spot. So a very good start from him. He's made up a couple of positions. And you've got Formula Danny already up into 10th position from four, uh, 13th on the grid. But look at this battle for the lead here then. FNG and Dornigan. Dornigan then not really making the exit of the chicane here on lap number one. But FNG has lost the position. We don't have track cuts here. But again, he was trying to avoid FNG's front right wheel there. But look at this. Tom HD trying to follow them through as well. they got Photon in very close proximity. And off the track then FNG goes... And it's bad enough going into the grass on, in normal conditions, but when it's wet, it's nightmare. You bog down completely. Looks like he's got away with it for the best part. But there you go, Tom HD up the inside then, extends on the exit of the circuit there, which means he can close the nose off and get that move done here. Uh, we're on board now with a turnover Loche, and he's got the training wheels on, as you can see, with the final corner to go. Uh, he's moving now up towards the top four here. Official FNG, oh, a little bit of oversteer there. The rear slipping out on that final corner. But we start lap number two, and uh, right now he is in fourth position. Veloce, Dornigan then, Dishes with the today. quickest lap of the race thus far. And look at this, three wide here. We've got Sally, Sonic, Sunch, and Veloce, a turn of Veloce, all trying to go through the middle. And well, Sunch right now is the meat in that sandwich, and he's been squeezed there. And look at Sally, Sally already up into third position. What a start from well, the Sultan brothers, absolutely unbelievable stuff here. But look at this. You can see Sonch is trying to come back through here. He's got the outside line then through turn number three. And is he going to be able to hang around the outside? Well, with the weather, we can't really see here. But they're still side by side here before we go up the hill towards the left-hander. And, uh, well, the best seen house right now is Tiamat Marda. He's in that Force India right now. But it's actually a four-way battle here for a top four. FNG right now is the cork in the bowl. And, well, the brothers now having a little bit of a fight. 
It looks like they're trying to do karate in the garage at this point, and there's a mistake then by Sonch. Sally then is off the circuit and now moves into eighth position. Actually, no, James is moved up a position here. We're now on board with Formula Danny, second in his championship, trying to follow his championship rival through here. And wow, what a performance has been so far for him. Three and a half laps to go here for Formula Danny. Can he get the race win? You see, he's been uh, very composed here. He's been, well, he's taking his time. That's the best thing. Actually, no, he's making a move up the inside then of Team McMahon. While he's going to fight, he's got an opportunity to move up the inside. And he's going to now go round the long way around of his championship rival. Sancho does squeeze him out. And now we can see Veloce James trying to get back involved here. And I think he's got the move done on Formula Danny. Yes, he has. And well, there'll be a little bit of contact there, maybe with the front wing on Sonch. We're in the lap number two, and it's been action, action, action. Dornigan took the fastest lap, then Photon was able to go quicker once again. And while these guys have been battling in behind, though, those guys have been able to drive away at this point. And while wow, Dornigan could get his first points of the season, let alone a potential race win. Formula Danny makes a double overtake, though, into turn number one. But on the exit here, Veloce James has got very good traction indeed. Gets across then to defend his position, and he's taken a love punt from behind. Uh, there by, I'm not too sure who that is, it is Formula Danny. We're on board now with uh, Formula Danny. He is in fifth position here. Sonch is in sixth. We've got a replay here. Look at this. We've got six, seven, eight cars here battling for uh, what would be three positions. And that's never going to work out. We're on board here with Arava. You can see that Storm makes the move here up the inside. But actually, Arava makes the move on Tiamat Marduk and completely gets it wrong. The two YouTubers there. Um, having and coming together, but it looks like Tiamat Marduk sorted it out. We're on board here with Formula Danny. Starting in 13th position here, and he's now got to try and get through the field. We see he's in fifth on the uh, in position right now, but with this replay, you see, uh, of course, how he managed to get those positions. You see Primera there making a bit of a mistake in the McLaren. Uh, takes a little bit of a, a cuddle there from Sally. Sally able to drive away here, so it looks like, yeah, oh, Isa and Primero. Isa started second, now down in 14th position. Not a good start for the young man. You can see that every, it's like Moses just parting the seas here. Formula Danny was just like, yes, thank you very much, boys. Uh, but again, now we're on board here with James. James being ever the opportunist here. Remember, he is the uh, E-Rock champion. He's a Re uh, Renault Esports champion. He's just champion of everything right now. But now we're back live here then, guys. We're on lap three. And uh, that is turn number one of lap three. You can see that Dornigan now down into third position. He's under pressure from the other Ferrari driver here, Tom, 97. HD, but even more. There's a shark in the pool. The water will all be on track. The conditions are perfect for the shark because Sally is coming in that hat. Oh, sorry, in that salva in fifth position. And there you go. This team at Marza. Then he's uh, under pressure here on the guys in front. But there's a bit of a collision there. FNG getting caught on the exit of turn number five. And, uh, well, Tiamat Marduk had nowhere to go. Arava then does snuffle up those points there. He's now up into 12th position. Next up for him is a turnover Loche. And the conditions here are horrendous. You can see they're trying to make that apex, but it's almost impossible. Oh, wow. Spinning up the wheels there was Arava. Tiamat Marduk then, in the battle of the YouTubers right now, is out on top. He just retakes the overtake. Veloce, James, and Imbert uh, are Sonch. So much action happening here for such a short race. Exceptional stuff by these guys. Uh, Veloce James then trying to put pressure here on one of the uh, top esports drivers in the world who are in the F1 esports series. Sonch. And he make the move here. We see that actually Dornig is up into second spot. So not only has he not scored any points all season, but now he's on for a podium. But even better than that, he's on for second position. But Sally is the quickest man on the circuit right now. He has just put the quickest lap of the race in. A one 31-5. Dornigan there really struggling on the exit of turn number one. And Tom HD, I tell you what, he's looking very strong here indeed. Uh, they may have the same car being a Ferrari, but I'm sure if there's a gap that opens up, he's going to take it. There we go, up the inside. Can Dornigan recover on the exit, though? It looks like Tom 97 HD has given well, up the position once again. Dornigan being very aggressive, but now Sally's here. Tom 97 HD trying to defend from Sally and uh, takes a very good entrance through turn number five. And actually, Sally was squeezed off the track there. Great defender, but can Sally go up the inside here? There we go, Sally in the Haas, or sorry, in the Salva, trying to get up into third position. And I think he's got it done, gets it pinned on the brakes. Beautiful bit of work there by Sally. Tom really had not much to do there. Tried his absolute best, and uh, yeah, with the, the pedigree of what Sally does bring to the table, unfortunately, it just wasn't enough there. We're on the board now with James, and now the East boys, Sonch and James, trying to get back up involved in the battle 
for the podium here. And you can see that there's, there's four cars right in front of them. So the lead pack are very close indeed with one and a half laps to go here. You can see that, uh, well, Team at Marduk there with a dive bomb of sorts. Up the inside then of the turno Veloce and takes 11th position. Next up for him is the official FNG. And, uh, well, the official FNG there has just found the boost button and he is off and rocking and rolling. One's a little bit wide there, so Team at Marduk. And Photon now, quickest... Uh, lap of the race, 31-4. I'm sure that may be beaten uh, as they cross the line. One more lap to go then, ladies and gentlemen. To stay with him. He might make a mistake. He could still On board now with Formula Danny. So now Formula Danny is ahead of Sunch and behind Sally. So he is in a salt sandwich right now. He is the meat. But now Dorney has been overtaken by Sally here. Sally looking for a podium. We're on a final lap of this race. And now Formula Danny's trying to follow him through as well but Dornigan is going to score by the looks of things his first points of the season great work there by the German driver uh, but can Formula Dali follow well he's not going to he's going to be very patient here indeed and I think he knows because his championship rival is behind him he just needs to finish ahead of him here and he will get more points of course so he's being very patient indeed which is uh, more than we can say for a lot of the drivers here uh, of course, Veloce James then trying to put the pressure here on Sanch. And Formula Danny will be absolutely willing him on at this point. Great exit then out of the chicane. Uh, James was a race winner in Australia as well. So he's definitely got pedigree to make the move. And look how close the field are at the front here. With only a few corners to go at Hungary. Can James find a spot? Can Formula Danny make an overtake here? Uh, we've got Sanch and his brother Sally. Sally's trying to hold up uh, Formula Danny right now. Veloce Dorniden. You can see that Sally's actually up into second spot. Dornigan then, is he going to get his first points? Not only his first points, but a potential podium here. He's got one of the quickest drivers in the world, a F1 Esports champion with Mercedes behind him. But I think you're fine. Yes, he is. D uh, Dornigan is going to hold on here, and he's going to pick up third position. Great work from him. Sally is going to finish in second spot. And within all the mayhem, guys, I have no idea who's won this race. But I'm sure we'll find out very very shortly. Uh, we're on board with a turnover. Loche, he is going to finish in 10th. Looks like Tiamat Marduk may have had a penalty there and finishes in 11th. So there you go. Photon uh, picks up the first win for him in the season with 25 points. Then we've got Sally on 18. Alexander Dorniden is on 15. Formula Danny is on 12 points then from this race. Tom 97 HD is on 10. Eight points then for Veloce Alonso. We have then got Veloce James who's on six points. Uh, Storm uh, Tom Latilo is on four points. And then we've got Primero on two. And Joe Wilkes with the one point rounding out our points finishes. Remember, guys, you can vote for your race near the end of this season. You can uh, pick what track you want to see. And I'm not being funny with the reverse grid order. Why would the hell would you not be voting for Monaco? That is for sure. And let's check out the championship order then. We've got Veloce uh, Alonso, who is leading the way then. 107 points. It looks like uh, Formula Danny has just closed ever so slightly here with 94 points now. Uh, then we've got 91 points for Photon. Uh, Flying Finn is on 89 points. We've got Veloce James on 84 and 5th. We've got Tiamat Marduk, who is in 6th position with 68 points. Tom Lartolo Storm is on 35 points. Veloce Primero is on 28. Tied with Tom Martinez, Tom 97 HD. We've then got Brembo, who is on 27 in the top 10 right now. Alexander Dorniden on 23. 22 for Araba um, in 12th position. Next time, round 8, Canada. Watch out, we're green.